not your webcam they're writing. All right, Peiting, are you still here, Peiting, they're writing? Are you sleeping there? Huh? Are you sleeping there, right, Peiting? I, I call your name, okay, several times there, okay? Do you hear me? All right, do you hear me there, right, Peiting? All right, open up webcam for a while there, guys, okay? I will check mine directly because yesterday I having a problem so with you uh, with my webcam. All right, Paytings, are you here? Don't let me check back again your submissions directly at the same time here right now. All right. So I have uh, a few number kind of demonstrations that I want to make. Okay, to create with you guys for today, there again. Okay? So uh, let me check basically, there, okay, my other screen. So here, all right, all right, paintings. Are you still here? Are you not there, right? Okay, let me check back again here. Right. Normally, directly, if you're not basically open up your webcam or you don't respond to me directly, I'm actually assumed that you were not here. That's all directly, okay? Because some people basically directly, what actually I've heard directly before, or actually experienced before, okay, you open up your what we call that your kind of appearance on online, but you are not there basically. You're doing something else directly. You're not paying attention directly on those works directly. So that's why I did not basically going to be respond to you guys on your attendance. If you, when I call your name, you're not basically right. Can you respond to me back again? Right? Okay. Simple as that. Okay. So guys, okay. Thank you very much for coming over here. Let me check back again. Before we go through carefully, okay. Hey, ye, okay. Anyone from this list there, okay. Except Alice, which I know they were okay, will not basically submit any kind of works there. Any from this list. You guys can see there, right? The screen over here. Anyone from this list? From week six? All right, project one there, okay. Your painting will not actually submit those works yet, all right? So I can call the names over here, okay? Uh, some of them basically were, okay, were dismissed and also, right, some of them also have been informed me, okay, because of their difficulties, okay, to get those kind of tablets, but they have actually have show basically those kind of demonstrations and also their kind of developments basically yesterday. So it's main basically is easy for me to keep track basically some of the things that you've been developed okay uh, for the rest of the weeks of of the weeks there okay to work on that. So thank you very much for the rest of the guys. Okay, Bernice, you're not actually a submit yet, Bernice. All right. May I know what basically your problem is right now, Bernice? Which one is Bernice then? Please open up a webcam for a while there, right? I want to see your face, Bernice. All right, Benching is here. Because right, I Bernice. use too much time for one for the drawing, and then I use for maybe four hours, and then I didn't use. What do you um, mean? What do you mean, there, Bernice? Um, I use too much time for one drawing, so I. One drawing. Yeah, for the. Six drawing, I used too much time, so I haven't done because I used uh, maybe four hours for one drawing, so I maybe used too much time. Okay, so what's the progress right now, Dewey? Right? <laughs> um, it's already done, uh, but I haven't shared for the because I shared for too long time. So you haven't submitted yet? <laughs> yeah. Okay. After my demonstrations, directly, I want you to share your screen. I want to see there's some progressions, okay, online, right? Okay. 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 
Anyone else who haven't submitted, right? Thank you very much, Bernice. Anyone else who haven't submitted those, those kind of what we call that project one here? Ernest, where were you there, Ernest, directly? You're outside, is it? What's wrong with your cameras here? You're using phones? So it works on that? Yeah, I'm okay. Alice still not here, right, Alice? Okay. I think Alice in Wonderland there, right? She has lost a key from those tracks there, right? I think. All right, guys. Okay. So thank you very much there for sharing those kind of recorded screens at the same time over here, right? Okay. All right, you guys can close back again to get your webcam there, right? All right. So this is basically some of the earliest kind of updates, which is I can actually give you guys some examples. Uh, what we call that, that, that I actually have been demonstrate uh, for most of the students there, okay, uh, for the last two days there, okay, uh, how basically going to execute basically your kind of project too there, okay. I give also some of the tips there, okay, how to create some of the backgrounds there recreate those kind of background because you can focus more on those illustration at the same time directly so you guys can check back again my demonstrations from there all right um if you want me basically to demonstrate or if i have time basically i'm going to demonstrate a little bit more further directly how actually i execute uh, this kind of what we call that illustrations directly this kind of drawings directly so all this kind of informations of these visuals, basically, you can get basically on my demonstrations there, okay? In my YouTube, so, okay, which is actually have been uploaded over here, okay? You guys can check back again, okay, later on there, okay, to work on that, okay? Study them back in how actually I execute some of the ideas uh, to use some of the brushes that to work on that, okay? Uh, I've been actually, right, upload a few number kind of what we call that the videos, okay? For the last two days okay please give me some time a little bit from from there but all those four three kind of demonstrations you guys can actually right take a look how actually i execute some of the illustration work from here there right so now all right go back into our lessons painting still not responding there right painting you're still not responding there okay Later on, okay, the whole world can see your basically. Okay, I'm calling your names over here, there, right? Okay, painting. So let me basically right check that again. Hmm. Yeah, you don't respond to me just now, there, right? And I call your names there. You ask me back again questions. Open up your webcam. I want to see your face over here. You know, and I want you to basically, right, okay, give me some answer about why actually you haven't submitted your project one here there right now, painting. All right, what's up with your kind of what we call the assignments of video project one, okay, why you haven't submitted yet? Why you haven't submitted your first projects over here? All right. Both kind of developments directly from week seven and week eight, you haven't submitted that. Bernice, also, you have the same thing there, okay? So I want to see those kind of progress later on. All right. A is not in the class, right? Okay, in his classroom, in his group, no. Have to double check the whole thing back again, okay? All right, now, okay, we don't want to waste time over here. All right, how actually I work with this kind of work? Uh, How actually I work with this? Wait, where is it? 
okay? This kind of glowing effects over here. Anyone know, have the ideas how actually they're using these glowing effects? All right. So I did basically some uh, demonstrations, okay, yesterday also how to recreate back again and how to compromise all the shape itself directly, how to develop basically some textures without having a lot of issues on uh, what we call that applying a lot of detailing directly because in illustrations, we don't have to trace or draw the whole things there sometimes, okay? I'm actually right, give you guys some example how to draw a little bit more quick and fast way, okay, which is business actually, right? Uh, Bernice basically have been uh, raised, okay, to us just now, okay, that she actually spent four hours to work on that. I think it's a normal kind of time there, right? It's a normal kind of situation that for you guys to get used with the tools there, okay? But from that particular kind of what we call the developments that you've been experienced, right, okay? In order to develop that kind of speed of your kind of working process, you need to develop and draw more and figure it out in time there, right? Okay, during the process of developing your drawings, how actually you're going to get it more faster and quicker, there, right? And of course, I did show you guys a lot. Most of my techniques, most of the methods that I show you guys were basically to develop more quicker way to develop your skills. At the same time, to draw in the proper way, okay? And of course, okay, when we draw with our hands, most of those results are going to be different in each drawing. That you cannot actually write, even though uh, there is a techniques that I don't want to implement directly. There is a tactic that that I want to implement because why? Why the reason I don't want to implement one of the techniques that I want to take? I want to raise to you guys here over here directly. This technique we call uh, uh, image transfers or uh, what we call that. It's just like purely a little bit more like a tracing and, and also adaptations directly on the tech, on the, on the methods directly. I don't want to use this kind of imitations, similarities, perfections kind of techniques directly uh, to develop with, with, with the student because I want you guys also to improvise those kind of methods along the way when you learn the methods from me okay improvise them okay i don't want you to become me or to to have my own clone there okay in order to develop the skills there but i'm providing basically the right kind of methods for you guys to start with first okay especially when it comes to develop basically your way of movement of your hands there right okay those other things okay so you you must be able to to capture and analyze and digest at the same time improvise from the whole kind of process of learning there when you start to follow the techniques and then you improve directly but a lot of people they assuming that they understand they thought they understand right okay and they start to jump up into their own way of working there. They never pay attention how actually I develop and solve those problems directly using basically the line, shapes, and shadings. Okay? That's why people always make that kind of common mistake that you saw. Okay? When you at least saw some of your friends later on okay, from demonstration directly, which is from my video that I actually record also directly. I have a few number of your friends basically do did some demonstrations. I I'm actually right, consult with them, okay, from live sessions over there. Right. And I try basically to use not a very too much educated uh, educations academic kind of words directly, even though we have to basically okay, because I want you guys to have basically some sort of kickstart okay to understand slowly okay all these kind of terms at the same time i'm using the layman kind of terms directly because because i know basically some of them okay were not going to be familiar all with this kind of terms directly so i have to use uh, some some mixture kind of terms okay between a layman and also an uh, uh, academic kind of terms like the line drawings there are okay texture shapes okay form structures whatever they're okay the shadow shades there, okay? So I try basically, right, okay, to mix up all these kind of them all together, there, okay? To have, make sure that you can understand how it works, okay? So now, if you take a look right now, okay, how actually I 
working with this kind of shading stuff, okay, one of the things that I, one of the tricks that I use basically, okay, to work on that, okay, to complete with this kind of illustration is, it's a simple brush there, okay, that I use. I'm using basically a soft brush that works. Okay, this method and techniques will give a little bit kind of momentum, focusing, contrast, at the same time, they give a little bit more kind of like enhance with more on your subject matters over here. Okay, so without you doing a lot of work to create some of the background there sometimes, all right, especially when people want to commission you later on to draw a subject matters there without a background, there, okay, but you want to complete the whole illustrations to make it more presentable there, okay, presentable there, right? So that's why this kind of techniques, I did a lot of these techniques before in my traditional kind of presentations there. And I learned also this kind of methods and technique from another person there, like another people there, okay? Professionals that worked on that by using a traditional kind of marker rendering there, okay, to work on that. But I applying them back into digital medias there. If you, if you would watch some of the photographic kind of moments that okay, they, when they shoot some photographies, okay, like romantic kind of what we call it, situations sometimes, okay, uh, you will saw this kind of uh, what we call it effects. We've been using a lot okay, to show some of the focusing on the on the subject matters there, to put some contrast there, okay, to give some some certain kind of moment, okay, to your kind of what we call that main kind of what we call it characters here. Okay, so how actually I'm going to do it there again? My kind of what we call that solution is, first of all, okay, whenever that you're using soft brushes, soft brush, I'm using soft brushes there, okay, to work on that, okay? Any kind of soft brushes there, okay, when you use them, one thing that you have to make sure there, okay, you always change the flows there first. Sometimes the flows are going to be around this side. First of all, all right, first of all, don't forget to change the flows that first. Why? When you minimize the flows, around 10, 9, 11, okay, you can control a lot on your paint styles that way, okay, first. The second thing is, okay, according to your space that you want to paint, don't forget to change the size. Right, how actually I change the size a bit more faster there, okay? I'm actually right, my left hand normally, I'm a right handed, okay? I'm a right handed person, okay? Left hand, I'm going to click to these buttons over here, okay? On the keyboard there, okay? Can you see here? All right? What are the name of this uh, key there, okay? I can't remember the names there, okay? Can someone help me there? What are the name of this key there? Bernice, do you know basically the key there, right there? The shortcut key is over here. I can't remember the names there. Is it? Bracket there, right? Yeah. Hopefully there. Okay, let me let me check there, right there. A close bracket and the open bracket, is it? So correct me if I'm wrong over here there, right? Okay? So this is the this is the key that I use there, okay? If I'm going to check back again, okay, because I try to find basically I get the names, okay, I can't remember there, okay, so break it there, okay, so because I think close capes and open cap there, okay, just kind of thing that I know there, okay, but this one, okay, I can't remember there, okay, sort of thing. So that may, okay, if I want to increase, decrease basically the size, I'm going to use this, uh, what we call that open cap and it was close cap for those. Uh, increase the size, okay? I'm going to increase the size of it, right? Okay? So I'm going to use a lot of this, this kind of, we call that, key there, right? Okay? To change the size while I'm going to paint basically some of the space. This is, the, this, this method are going to be used a lot also while I'm shading my subject matters there. When I put some shadows there, okay? When I start to shading, okay? My subject matters, I'm using a lot there, okay? To change the size, okay? So when I actually have pain, basically, right, okay? The areas over here, okay? Outside, okay, areas there, right? 
So the next thing that I can do, right, okay, to work on that, is simple there. I'm using that just now basically using around 34% of those uh, black colors there, right? If I'm using white colors there, 100% white there, okay, from hue saturation brightness, then I'm going to start to change into uh, hard round pressure opacity there, right? Okay, so what I can do from here, I pop those images, right? Okay? One, two, three. Slowly directly pop it up, right? And change the size. It has to be random in size, there, right? In order to give a bit more kind of what we call that. Unity and also harmonize on your presentation. Okay, that's the thing there, guys. Okay, simple kind of visual segment. Kind of what we call that methods that to work there, okay? It can be works more better. Than. Okay, some of the time there, okay, I will basically are going to add on top of the layers there. On top of the layers, and I'm going to add also this kind of come. Press a little bit, okay, not too much, okay, to give some glow effects there, right? Okay. To get some glow effects from there. So the results are going to be look like this there, okay? okay. Experiment those kind of methods, right? Okay, to give that kind of quality moments of the blur, blur effect, contrast, focus point on your characters, on your design at the same time. Okay? So I use basically this kind of what we call it this, this tricks a lot there, okay? If I want, if I don't want to put a lot of efforts when it comes to draw some backgrounds there, okay? For example, there, okay? So that's the things there, okay? So in illustrations, right? Whatever that we do basically right now, if you check look closely, okay? It's not purely tracing there. We draw back again on top of the layers and we improvise basically from what we see into the into our own drawing technique and styles there, right, at the same time. Those are the things that we actually try to apply, that, okay, to learn, to develop, that, okay, and also to, uh, to, 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 to capture all this kind of what we call that uh, knowledge and also understanding that from traditional into digital kind of media. And of course, okay, the technique that I actually to introduce to you guys, basically, the whole technique that I actually produce, uh, introduce, okay, is basically to develop basically back again your skill. Generally, to develop back again your skills there, all right, okay? To help those who actually cannot draw well, for example, right, okay, like when she in the right, okay, you know, basically your kind of, what we call that, your kind of skills right here, there, okay? Hopefully, from this stage, you can improve more further, from, right? You can improve, you can you need to see your kind of improvement there, okay? So, otherwise, if you cannot actually, write saw those kind of improvements, you have to see back again, okay, what the things that you've been missed out, all right? Because last times, okay, you've been experienced, okay? Some of the students I have been experienced, okay? I give a lot of exercise. I give a lot of uh, what we call that different kind of assignments that related to the final works, but there's a lot of, I think there's a lot of confusions there, okay, because some of the students who really cannot draw well, they kind of miss out some of the important things other than just develop those kind of elements, but they have to focus basically on their own skills deficits. That's why this semester I make a major changes, okay, because I want to see and I can basically consult a bit more further on some of the students who really want to show those kind of demonstrations, who really doesn't want, shy, introvert enough, directly, okay, just like me before, directly. Okay, I cannot help that thing, directly, okay, unless I will do some sort of like uh, evaluations, like a normal kind of evaluations, but without any kind of consultations there. Because in consultations, whether I'm offering to you guys or you came to me, directly. Okay, because when I actually offering to you guys, I will do it basically in all practical class, okay? Even though it's quite very hard for you to admit, sometimes I'm going to be hard for you a bit, push a bit more further, right, okay? Uh, to, 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 to make sure that you, you can actually develop and improve your kind of skill, okay, during the process of working there, okay? 
But basically, that's the best way for me to take the look back again, how far you, you, you really understand how to develop basically your kind of skills from whatever that we actually have been go through, okay, to, to, to demonstrate and to ask the guy to develop that kind of understanding by doing those exercises there, right, okay? Because we don't have that kind of face-to-face, -face kind of what we call the sessions there, right, okay? Uh, in, in, in the physical kind of space there, right, okay? So when, when we're using online sessions, I think one of the best way I can actually write, you guys can share your screen. I will see how actually you get, go far from there. Right? And you can actually develop your skill from that kind of what we call that, uh, what we call that, that kind of moment there, right? Okay, to focus on that. So now, that's basically the tips that, okay, that, that we can use, okay, to develop basically these visuals presented in the right way. All right, this is one of the tips. I don't want to give a lot, okay, because not because it's not basically uh, what we call that kind of proper, right? Okay? Because I want you guys to focus, right? Okay? One step at a time, right? Okay? Because illustrations, design, visuals there, they have to be come in one step at a time, right? Okay? Because not all people basically can actually write, uh, gather all this kind of information together. Because I saw uh, for the last two days, right? Okay, when, when, I, when I actually saw one of the, your friend over here, right? Okay? They try basically to mix up a lot of styles, techniques in one illustration. Eh? They become not focusing enough on their own kind of understanding to develop the skills. They don't basically, okay, they, 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 they mix them up, they, they, they become confused directly, and they, they don't know where, where actually they're going to be focused on the strokes line at the same time before they're going to add some shadings there. They don't actually focus from there. They try to jump up into one, one, one kind of problem into another problem there. They create more problems along the way when they develop one illustration there. Because they don't actually write complete the line works first, they jump up into shading there. And suddenly they want to add some sort of like highlight or, or whatever they're going to add. Right? The process of working were not basically running too smooth there, okay? in order to get the right kind of way in order to understand about your subject matters at the same time, okay? They kind of mixed up a lot because there's a lot of it in their mind maybe uh, because they want to experiment with a lot of things that they don't quite understand yet. Same goes to some of the students when asked, okay, so can I, uh, do we actually have to develop the basic structures or not? Okay, this is also some important things that, right, okay? That I want to touch back again for these demonstrations over here. All right. All right, if you take a look at this reference there, okay, a lot of people basically, right, okay, have experience from my kind of lessons with all these kind of uh, drawings there, okay, this kind of uh, how actually going to draw those eyes, nose, lips, and, and, and the rest of it there, okay. But the problem is, okay, when you just start to draw them, right, okay, some people basically, let's like say they use these ink brushes over here. When they start to draw, okay, I actually, when I start to draw, I'm going to draw like this one there, okay, take a look over here. Okay, because the size is big there, okay, I'm going to change the size over here. Around 20 there, okay, percent there, okay, 20% of point of size of those brushes for the ink brushes, okay. Some people, they don't know where to start, okay. They try to start like this one there, right? They draw like this one. Okay, they draw like this one, okay? Anyone who draw like this, right, okay, you know who you are, there, right? Okay? Of course, yes, for illustration style, you can draw like this. Okay? But to develop your drawing skills, you develop your drawing skills by applying back again on top of the layers when you draw. You're not tracing them, there, guys. Can you see how I actually draw them here? How much time did I repeat those lines? But why actually repeat those lines over here? Because I want to make sure that I can actually develop that kind of understanding and stabilize basically my kind of hands at the same time there. But am I actually traced then? Am I traced the whole thing?
because when if I tracing them right, okay, I will draw the whole thing. But right now, if you see my kind of drawing strokes over here, can you see some of the areas that we try to trace the whole thing there? I didn't trace basically those kind of eyelid. Some people try to draw this eyelid like this. Okay, what happens when you draw like this one, right, guys? When you actually try to copy the whole thing, okay? What happens here? What are the things that you saw from here when you when you try to draw copy the whole thing, okay? Some people draw like this one. They draw like this. Okay. This is basic tracing, huh? huh? Tracing the right. Sometimes they don't doesn't know okay what happens to this side there, okay? And they start to color them up. And they start to color them up there, right? What happens here? When you draw like this. They were not being developed naturally there, right? Okay? They've been fake there, okay? They look fake there, okay? One. Okay, what I mean fake, okay? Because all the all, all the elements that you try to develop doesn't have any value, they don't have any tone, doesn't have any what we call that uh, uh, that doesn't actually look harmonized there, okay? Just like the principle of, of design, okay? In in one single illustration there. They, they look harmonized, okay? They look a bit kind of like like you adapted basically the whole thing there, okay? But not naturally been designed, uh, doesn't work by design there right itself, there, right? Yes, Anis? What time is it, Zenkara? Okay, you just wake up there, right? Okay. So you need to basically, okay, to make sure that these kind of things were not going to be happens there. Why? You try to trace the whole thing, but they look unnatural that okay, for your drawings for your drawings there for some styles of illustration in the futures maybe it's going to be possible can be developed okay but to develop basically your understanding this is not the right way to do to start with your drawings methods techniques and exercise the right to answer the questions whether we're going to develop uh this week drawings okay by shading shapes or whatever they're okay Right, I want you guys basically to deliver a progress on your illustrations. If you seem cannot complete the right, okay? But if you can complete them, just complete them, the whole five drawings. From what you can deliver as a part of your understanding there to complete basically your illustrations. For example, like this one, right? I haven't complete yet. Let's just say you draw this kind of things complete like this one only. They cannot complete anything, uh, everything here, okay? Just submit them first. And then next week, continue them back. But if you can actually complete them, it's more better. Then next week, you don't have to worry about, 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 about to submit more, okay? Because when you look back again to your illustrations, for example, okay, if you can improve it more further, then you can add more details to submit next week's. I don't want you... Uh, give you guys basically okay for this second uh, uh, what we call that project two basically okay i want you guys to think creatively how to submit your work for week nine and week ten it's up to you you only have five drawings to submit okay five drawings to submit there right so if you think you want to submit those five drawings for this week to complete them and then later on next week, if you find that you want to develop it more further on your detailing there, okay, go ahead. You can submit more from there. But you only have five drawings that have to be complete. But if you do it more, based on your personal kind of 
attentions. I will develop, I will evaluate a bit more further on those marks there, right? It's simple as that. I want you guys to think creatively how to submit them, all right? Because I did show you guys how to develop your drawings. Basically the same, but you just have to improve. Improve a bit more further on your skills. If you think that you're not doing really well in the project one, project two should be improved more further from there. All right. The only new technique that I show you guys is how to apply in the background. Okay. But the drawing strokes that you develop from project two has to be improved. Simple as that. All right. Because our main objective are still the same. To develop and improve your traditional and digital skills. That okay? from traditional to digital skills that you transfer back again your skills, but you have to improve more. Okay. Do you understand that? Go back into your objective there, right? We need to improve our drawing skills. If you can actually write, deliver basically your drawings more better than mine, that means you succeed right? with your project too, there, right? Okay? How to know if I improve? Okay. You can actually write, ask me that kind of what we call that, uh, your kind of what we call that, consultations there, okay? I saw basically your drawings there, right, okay? Uh, Adelina, uh, Adelina, right, okay? I saw basically your submissions, right, okay? One other thing that I saw from your kind of drawing skills, right, okay? They don't have basically that kind of volume and value of tone there, okay? That can be that can be show some sort of like space and harmonize those kind of tone, okay? The whole thing become a bit more like jump over from from core shadows and the highlight there, okay? That's basically what I saw. Okay. How actually you're going to see that you're going to improve? when actually you saw your drawings more better than mine. Especially on the line and the shadows itself. Am I answer your questions? Guys, if you saw your line drawings, you don't get it there, right? It's more better than mine there, okay? The line drawings there, the stroke itself there, right? It, you, you can feel that kind of what we call that. You can saw basically the quality that you produce there. Okay, when you actually comparing your drawing and my drawings there. I'm not saying that okay, the thirty years kind of experience, and I think you have actually right around ten or fifteen years to actually develop the skill can be comparing there. Eight there, right? All right, but you can basically right analyze them again. Okay? What I say okay, from the analyzer again, okay, can I show you back again? Okay, okay. Probably we have, we have time there, okay? Don't worry, sir, because uh, group eight basically doesn't exist anymore. So I can actually spend a bit more time for you guys there. So anyone want to, when you spend time a bit more further, okay? You're welcome, okay, for today. All right. Let me take a look here right now. Okay, what basically Adelina already actually have been working on there, right? I've been looking also for the rest of some of you guys' works here. So I just want to check back again there, right? You guys can see the screen over here there, right? All right, check look there, right? Do not, right? Okay? Even though it's quite small from here, okay? I don't know if I can actually zoom in a little bit. 
take a look at your shadings that you that you developed from it. You actually have your own styles there of working there, okay? I can see there, okay? But if you take a look right now, okay, the shadings that you try to apply, okay, the highlight and the shadows, okay, and also the tone itself is too. Obviously, we can see that the whole thing jump all together there, okay? This kind of thing that you can actually improve from there. I think the line works. I can see basically from the small side. I have to download that back later on. Okay, right from here. Okay, the stroke itself, the drawing strokes. Okay, I can see more clear from here, but I will basically check back again. Okay. Right, let me check look back again okay, here. If we can actually write manage to see. Why don't you give me in JPEG the right game instead of uh, PDF the right game rather than this? All right, check look on the line works over here. Okay, the line works look nice. Okay, look very, very, have the quality of line. Okay, the quality of line that we saw from here. I'm not saying it's not bad, okay? And and some of you guys basically, I don't know that she has basically some unique kind of approach on her works there. In meantime, maybe okay, some of the because we not actually write, we cannot actually write just compare in one drawings, okay? And 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 I say basically she's not basically she needs to develop a bit more further on her on her understanding, especially on the on the shadings and shade at the same time, right? Okay? But uh each one of us basically who have find basically your own way of deliver basically your illustrations. You have basically the right to to develop it more further, okay, on your kind of what we call the improvement on your drawings uh, from time to time, there, okay. If you actually saw more on your uh, other kind of what we call that samples of works, you can actually get a bit more further kind of understanding later on. But if you're comparing back again, because because all of those lines that you draw there, okay, right now, okay, most of those illustrations that you draw there, right, okay. Basically, this is purely look a little bit more like not, not a portrait based directly, not a like like a still life based kind of styles. Like it's more like a cartoon style, okay? That been applied with the line works, okay? At the same time, like okay? those are the things that we saw from here, right? And of course, okay, some of the shadings you can actually write improve, okay? Some of the areas that you actually have not actually clean up the the line, okay? You actually improve from there, okay? And the muscle connection that you saw that you actually developed from here, right? It has to be logic a little bit there, okay? It has to be logic, okay? According to those reference there. You have to look back again to your reference while you draw them and improve more on the shadings, okay? And if you comparing what I actually have done there before, right? Okay, the shadings that actually, right? Blend it over there, okay? I really control the highlight and shadows carefully there, okay? To blend it up all together. Okay, for example, like this one there, right? You saw the basic, right? I didn't actually write copy the whole thing directly, but I improvised them and try to minimize basically, okay, the, 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 the what we call the shadings all together to be basically to because, right? Because when we draw the outlines, okay, we may draw the outline for those illustrations, okay, but I actually not comparing myself into more cartoon styles there, but basically this is an illustration styles there. You have, yes, remember the right, okay? There's a difference between cartoon styles, anime, manga, the very kind of styles, and illustrations styles, the graphical illustration style there, I think. So the line drawings that we use there, okay, is for graphic kind of illustration styles, not a cartoon style there. Layman call, oh, you draw is similar to the cartoon there, okay, because they has outline there. Not every outline, they become cartoon style, okay. There's an ink kind of versions to draw portrait at the same time. So, so those are the things we have to make sure we can actually right analyze them and 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 do a bit kind of comparison right okay? the method that we draw and develops okay in order to 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 get more understanding okay from time to time okay because it's a process of learning there okay to develop our skills there uh, maybe because you actually have been um what we call that get used with uh, all the uh, style that you've been family and confirmed and, and, and comfortable with okay for so many years there again or five eight years there okay uh, so it's time for you to explore it more further okay 
using different kind of methods of working at the same time okay if you take a look here right now okay comparing okay because why actually i give you guys a sample there that looks a bit more obviously okay all the sample that i did is give you guys is more towards to characters there okay so without actually do a lot of changes when you draw the whole thing exactly as what you actually have been saw there, okay from this presentation from this reference there, okay they all basically is a part of those characters there. They be, they're in the characters there, okay? They're in the characters there, okay? But what actually I saw from Aduna, she tried to explore a bit more further on her design. Yes, which means it's good, okay? But I have to warn you guys, not everyone can do the same thing. That's why I did not actually encourage you guys to, uh, to create your own characters, okay? Not everyone can create their own characters there. And I actually did, did, did basically share to you guys directly we show to you guys which is when i actually develop based on these uh what we call that projects directly that we did directly i did not basically go into too much of those characters directly i tried to improvise a little bit only there but not too much from there but what you can see from my developments directly, that i combine all together directly, the line itself there so if we take a look there, okay, I'm still basically referring the shadows tone using basically a reference there. Every single details there, okay, I try to adapt them back. Why? Because I want to have, make sure that you guys also try to study according to do your reference there first before you can imagine that. But I did not actually have been developed a little bit more advanced kind of methods which is, is not wrong for her, but not suitable to everyone. Okay? Not to suitable, because I have to, I have to basically, uh, what we call that, uh, give you guys a direct kind of what we call that comment on this. Okay? One of the reason why I say it's not suitable for everyone, because not everyone can draw well sometimes okay this is happens a lot okay this is happens a lot sometimes people say they want to do something that they like okay but the level of skills comparing to what you like and what you want you need to do were not balanced enough there. you cannot draw basically simple as that you cannot imagine that basically and you don't have that kind of knowledge yet there right okay so don't try to become a bit more like something that you don't understand yet. Don't try to do something that you don't understand yet. Okay. Uh, basically, okay, the things that you have to make sure that you develop right now is to understand first what you need to improve there. Okay. On your drawing skills, on your methods of working, on your kind of techniques, the way that you move your hands the way, we, the, the way you captured the, uh, the, 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 the detailing there, okay? When you start to blend, you, you start to sketch, you start to uh, what we call that shades, they basically, right, okay? All those kind of knowledge that you need to improve more is, is a bit more important rather than you just create something that you don't understand yet. Because to create a characters, okay, of... Uh, in the world of character design is directing to create a characters is not only one positions okay normally we're going to create those characters in several positions there and then we're going to draw another kind of pose to make sure that we are really understand okay in and out to develop that kind of design later on for any different kind of positions any different kind of actions and poses there okay don't fail basically okay or you can draw these characters in one position you become good at it okay they're not going to be happens like that in the real world there when you design the characters there okay you will design a multiple say various stuff of positions there with the same that characters okay it's not the is an easy kind of job okay that's why i didn't emphasize a lot but i give you guys some basics kind of ideas how actually you're going to improvise, modify some element from your reference 
to become a character's death, but not purely uh, develop the whole thing, right? In, in basically, in, in, in a major kind of what we call that uh, positions there, right? Okay? Or, or tasks or methods that works, okay? It's beyond that. It's more from that. Because we don't want to mix it, okay? This is only a basic foundation, okay? So that means I have to give you guys some introductions a bit, how it works there. But basically, is it beyond that? Whatever that you saw, basically, that's why some people, when they try to draw their own characters there, right? They become a bit more worse than what they thought they want to produce. And I've been asking some of your friends, they asked, they, when I asked back again, okay, what do you learn from this one? Do you learn anything from your presentations over here? Nothing. Right? Nothing there. Like he said to me nothing like I didn't learn anything this year. Okay, for example, like this one, I see. And you guys comparing the right thing. Eh? But of course, okay, he tried, Hansen basically, he tried to do back again according to those rappers there. This is basically a good start for him, but he has to improve more from there. Okay? In terms of shadings and shades there. Okay? That's why this is what happens, I guess. The reality is some people still doesn't know how to control the pressures really well shading step all right that's why you need to focus more on the fundamentals there first how it works how it works there okay so comparing to what you can do with other people's is good and then then make yourself feel more kind of you can actually face more realities or what you need to learn first rather than become someone else all right those are the things there so as we know again the most easiest way okay may have what is it uh i may rush on the dude there right okay so that's why they say this what i say there again if you actually write try to try too much directly to develop your own kind of ideas you're going to run a lot of times i don't want you to rush your time there right okay and one student basically actually have been shared with me as i remember directly because there's a lot of students that they have shared okay on my uh whatsapp directly that she actually tried to balance them up okay uh when she actually designed uh her characters okay she wanted to design character like i not already and she end up basically to draw four based on her own kind of ideas of characters and two of them she tried to maintain directly okay? so the results happens to become a bit more better directly okay? i don't know whether i can share right here i can't remember her name okay sorry guys okay i'm really bad at remembering the name sometimes okay right um i can remember at least basically because uh at least it's from Wonderland, right? Easy for me to remember that, right? Okay. Uh, so I'm like, that's okay. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Okay. What do you do actually right, in hospitals there, right? Okay, you know hmm? But she end up to turn out very well there, okay? on those uh, uh maintaining basically the uh, what we call that the submissions okay based on the same kind of reference there okay she end up really well from there okay so if you look back again comparing from your illustration okay i'm using colors basically right okay because i just want to give a different kind of mode okay some people actually ask me like okay, can i use colors they say no try not to use colors there why if you're not actually familiar with those kind of using the warm and cool colors to apply on your illustrations right okay? for this semesters i really really doesn't want to use those kind of colors there okay to work on that because i want to focus more on those uh what we call it on those monotonous okay gradients and kind of what we call it understanding that to develop that kind of value or tone at the same time there, okay so uh, I can actually give you guys some examples over here. How actually you're going to comparing whether you do it right or not there, right? Okay. We have the circles there, right? Okay. 
So maybe Adelina and Katie can learn also from here. So, and the rest of you guys at the same time. Okay? So if I want to paint this one already, I have a base color for this one. Okay. Let's just say I have the base colors over here. This is my base color there, right? So what I can do to develop the shadows tone at the same time, right? Okay. So what I can do right here, there, guys, if I want to paint it up, okay, I just basically the tone over here. First of all, I'm going to design the base color for the, uh, I have the base tone there, okay, for the shadows there. So I have to know basically the directions of light there, right? Let's just say the light came from this side there, okay? Top right there, okay? So the shadow is going to fall off over here, okay? Basically. So how actually I'm going to tone them, I'm going to paint it up like that. Okay? Of course, don't forget to control the pressures there. Close. This. If the sides, okay? Basically, if the light came from this top there, okay? Right top there, right, okay? Side. The shadow is going to fall off over here. You see there, okay, how actually I tone it, right, Adelina? I really actually, right, spend not too much kind of pressure, right, on the tone itself. And slowly, I adjust basically those uh, volume of those colors there, okay? Then, add a bit kind of shadows from there. They have to be come with me. Every, every single shades of shadow, core shadow from the surface, remember that, guys. We always have those. What is this? Section slide. We always have that, okay? What are the things that we cannot solve from some of your kind of submissions? Is those reflection slide came from the shadows there, from the fog itself. That's why they look a bit kind of jump over at okay, the shadows there. Okay? Always there, okay? No matter how how rushed you are, basically, okay? When you spend time to shading directly, look carefully to your subject matters directly to work on that. Because it will give the person, right, the people actually going to view your works, it has a rest position on those kind of visuals, that it has the rest kind of eyes there. Okay? Because it will play with people's psychologies at the same time, directly. Okay? When you actually have this kind of quality, okay, when you develop your kind of visuals there. You cannot actually write, explain them sometimes. People cannot explain, oh, people will explain, okay, they look nice, look great, okay? But as a designer and an artist, okay, you can see basically, okay, when people actually blend it carefully on those kind of visuals, on the shadows there, they have those kind of reflections like, they show basically the form of the structures at the same time. Even though some of the artists like, uh like um what are the names that i get from the hellboy kind of characters there okay they use a lot of heavy kind of shapes of silhouette there okay there's another tactics that works right and but basically okay uh most of the traditional and also uh conventional kind of way to develop our kind of understanding uh to blend the shadows we have to make sure that we have this kind of tone of values on our visuals there. So basically, Raki, from the base colors, I want to make basically Raki, from the half tone, I will basically want to have basically some highlights over here that, that, that actually blend over to those, uh, what we call that form of the sphere there, right? Okay, to show the dimensional of your illustration the dimension of the right okay, on your form from your characters that you have to show that right okay, those dimension okay and then i start to draw those hot spot of those highlights there, right? blend it slowly directly right, towards on that and of course i can actually bend it over here if it's another core shadow thing just the size at the same time. It to make the whole visuals become three dimensional there. In two dimensional kind of space. All right. So from here, to make sure that I really, really make this visual look a bit more like 
dimensional directly. And as you start to draw, basically those, the shadows kind of fall off, right? Okay, the cast shadows over here. See? If, I, if we can control the flows right now, I can actually right, develop basically those kind of illusion of the platform directly of this surface there. All right, Alina, you see here right now like how it works. This is basically some sort of like the samples there, okay? How actually you can shade it, okay? Not only for Adina, for the rest of you guys. Same thing. You must be able to understand basically. The level of tone that you actually have been you need to apply on your illustrations of it. <clears throat> Supposed to link this one there, right? And put it over here. Okay. How the basics idea is how to control the pressures of your shadings. All right. All right, Hansen, Raggy. Uh, please, basically, I can give uh, you have appointment just now, okay? Send it over your appointment letters, okay, on the hospitals. If you have those kind of what you call that, those uh, appointments on the online, kind of what we call that, my or whatever, okay? Send it over to me, okay, on my email. Okay, Lena. And you see basically the comparison between your shadings methods and mine. Okay, which I actually have shown right now basically on those drawings over here. Okay. We we use an illusions kind of methods to develop from there. So right now there guys, go back into this one. If some people have a lot of difficulties right here, to draw them, right? Here, to draw the eyes, right? Here to draw the eyes, to start to draw those eyes there, right? So what I want to share with you guys right now, directly, how to draw them back. You see how I actually draw them here? Okay, I'm using basically pencil tools there, right? To work on that. Okay, where basically I start directly with? Okay, how actually I draw basically those kind of shapes of those circles. And right now I want to show you guys here from this kind of line works directly that actually produce. How actually I'm going to improvise the shapes of this pupil and iris together directly to develop the eyes kind of shadings there. One of the way that I always use, even though we cannot see clearly okay, on some of the illustrations works, like some of the reference directly, I always, always try to restructure back again the pupil are going to be right here see okay. it look the line works the strokes itself okay when people ask me okay how actually going to compare my drawing and yours okay i think one of the main one of the things that you guys can learn is by looking back again how actually I develop basically the stroke itself. That's why we, we have the observation exercise drawings there. We learn to see things. We learn from seeing things there. Unless you are blind, you cannot see, then you cannot actually write, explain, you cannot actually write, analyze them. Okay? You need to learn from your eyes. You need to analyze them from your eyes. Remember what I said before there, right? Okay? I have a few now, I have a lot of comic books that I cannot understand how to read them. 
this is one of them. Okay, this is one of them, okay. I actually write been uh, subscribed, okay. This kind of, uh, the A Club kind of magazines a lot. Okay, but A Club magazine is, a, is quite a huge magazine there, okay. I have a few number, I have a few number kind of comics directly in my house, which is, I don't understand, I okay, want any words from there. But all this kind of comic that I actually have been kept for so many years there, when I was like high school, there, right okay. I read them by understanding those visuals there, those visuals. Okay, a lot there, okay, from Akira, not from, not from the Dragon Balls, because Dragon Ball, I didn't follow those Dragon Ball, okay, I, I follow basically the, uh, most of those uh, 80s kind of comics, other than Akira, the right, okay, Toriyama, but the Akira kind of wake up from uh, Kasu, Kasushiro Otomo, the right, okay, kind of what we call that Akira, they get the first uh, manga basically, right? Okay, anime uh, kind of films, there, okay, around 80s, there, right? So I I follow those kind of what we call the animations there. I start from there, there, okay, and also a very stuff of animation, so so there, okay. They actually follow me before, there, okay. And most of those books that I have, there, okay, in my house, which is the related to those anime and manga, there, okay, is is written by Japanese or Chinese, there, right? most of it okay so i didn't understand a thing from those words there my girlfriend also at that time also didn't actually write have time to teach me okay how to read chinese or whatever they write it. but i i'm actually right learn from those visuals there by looking at things even though some of the things that they actually we'd been go through before Okay, I've been explained to you guys there, okay, but most of it you guys can learn from looking how actually I move those kind of drawings there, okay? Learn from what you see there right back again and compare them back. Simple as that, okay? No matter how much of time that I'm going to explain, try to find some of the right terms to work on that. It's not that hard there, okay, Alina. You have the skills that works. You have to trust them and try to change your mind to be more flexible there because it's such a waste if you don't actually learn to develop that kind of skills. Here, okay? Because we have to be flexible, okay? Okay, if, uh, okay, I will, uh, I will actually, I can share with you guys something, okay? I have some of my friends there, okay, who actually can draw better than me Okay, until today they're okay. But they start basically with cartoon and comics. Right? I basically okay, love all these kind of comics okay, in my entire life. Okay? And I don't know basically how to draw properly. Even though I can, can draw, but whenever that I draw, like I said to you guys before, I always have this kind of inferiority that I can, I will basically use erasers a lot right? at the time okay, to work on that. You guys know the stories there, right? So, and I did not actually kept myself, even though I love all these Japanese anime cartoons, even though the American kind of what we call that uh, animations there, right? Okay, like He-Man, Thundercast, which is been made by Japanese company, companies there, right? But I did not basically caught myself, okay? Just to focus only one style, okay? in my entire kind of journey there to develop my skills. That's why when I actually start to develop all these blind drawings, contour line drawings, kind of, right? right? And also uh, gestures line drawings, learning from all this kind of a uh, true kind of artist there, okay, that I actually never met in my life before there, okay, to become my kind of lectures, my kind of teachers there, okay, and, and gurus there, right? Okay. I start to develop also my own way of working. And at the same time, there, okay, I develop also my kind of interest to develop those kind of comic kind of style at the same time. Okay. In, 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 in the same kind of process, there, okay. But I never basically 
caught myself or put my positions that I want to become only a specific kind of people that, or artists or designers or visuals. That I try to keep in my mind, I have to be more flexible. I have to develop a, a, a variety kind of styles in order to make sure that I can actually like, survive directly. Even though the, the challenges are going to be different directly from time to time. But what I actually can actually write, uh, what we call that, can see those kind of, what we call that, those kind of results that right here, that I know basically where and when to use that certain kind of styles there, depending on the situations, depending on the rates, depending on the values that people actually write, paid me to develop basically the, the, the visuals there. Because if we become with more flexible directly from there, but it's, a very, it's basically early stage for you, Edwina, and the rest of the guys may be there, okay? Don't worry, it's there. Because you have to trust, basically. Once you get the strokes right, okay, when you get the feels right, there, okay, you can develop a certain more kind of extended on your kind of stuff. There, okay? That's why one of the best way that Edwina, okay, draw back again from the reference, okay? And then when you get that kind of confidence, you go back into your, uh, uh, what we call that, you can improvise those kind of reference into your own creations there. Simple. Okay, simple as that. Because I saw some of my friends. This is the true story there, guys. I don't know whether I actually have shared you guys before, okay? Um, there's a few number of my friends, okay, who actually really, really love anime manga more than me. We can talk about it. And, but they really obsessed with with all this kind of anime manga kind of style a lot, all right? They really obsessed there, right? So the thing about when we too obsessed with one single style or one single kind of genre or thing in our life, directly right? as a designer and illustrator, okay? There's a time basically, okay? We we can draw. I met basically okay in my journey, sir, okay, when I was like. Uh, 14, uh, 15 years old, there, okay, 16 years old, there, right, okay. I saw one of my Chinese friends, right, okay. he can draw exactly like Ma Wing Sing, there, okay, those Storm Riders kind of comics, there, okay, Storm Riders there, okay, like a Hong Kong kind of comic kind of styles there, okay, he can draw really well from there, okay, and exactly there, okay, uh, every single sketch that he draw. Okay, on those uh, what we call that those kind of imaginations kind of poses there, okay. He can actually imitate Maui Insane kind of characters, uh, what we call that uh, cartoon style, there, okay, a comic style, okay. If he doesn't know uh, who actually right Maui Insane is, okay. Maoing Sing the right okay? Maoing Sing the right okay? okay, this one like Maoing Sing the right okay? This is one of the, I think one of the godfather of uh, Chinese comics, right? Okay? I love also his comics, there, okay? His styles, okay, very smooth, there, different than the Tony Wong kind of styles, there, okay? So my friend, basically, okay, I forgot her, his name there, right? Okay? This is quite so long. Okay. He can draw, okay, most of his drawings look like this one, okay, drawings there, okay. The paintings a little bit kind of, uh, not quite similar, okay. But his drawings, is almost look like uh, the Mao Singh kind of styles there, okay. So for example, like this one there, okay. But at a time, I'm also, they cannot draw like this, right. I really, really, bad at copying other people's works there right okay because i don't know the right kind of strokes there but i just learned basically on myself there okay self-taught that works on it but i saw him can do more better than me there okay from here but the problem is okay this is one of the example there, okay not mommy singh but my friend because i know mommy singh can draw both thread there, okay? because he's very good at his drawings there uh, this guy basically that, that, that my friend okay he cannot draw portrait okay whenever he draw portrait okay become the same strokes 
like this Mao Wing kind of styles there, okay? So he cannot actually write change the stroke the styles there at that time. So I don't know what actually happened to him there, okay? He's quite a small guy there, okay? He really can draw there. I really admire his kind of way that he can imitate those Mao Wing kind of drawings there. But it's not make me want to become same like my friend, okay? I have that kind of maybe some gift there, okay? I love to see other people works, but I did not going to be copy 100% from them, okay? What I try to do, I will try to improvise them. But what I actually did basically for some of my exercise, my kind of developments there, okay? Uh, when I was to try to develop those comic styles, I'm actually right. I don't know whether I can share with you guys. Eh? I think I shared already. I actually create those kind of things that here, okay? I think you have, I've, I've, I've shared to you guys that before, okay? I try to imitate some of the comic styles here, right? From here. You see that, right? Okay? But it doesn't stop me to develop also some portraits and drawings based on my assignments there, all right? Okay? But all these kind of developments, basically, is a side kind of developments that I want to improve more further on my understanding there, okay? On my kind of way of working. Because I try to open up my mind, even though every designer, every illustrator, every artist, basically, uh, there's a certain kind of period we have our own kind of principle and egos that okay, we don't want to change okay but if you don't want to change make sure it can benefit for your kind of developments in the future there if you cannot find them the right okay, that kind of benefits yet or you afraid that sometimes people will argue there right, okay people will argue a lot of your works there when I was developed also my personal work okay a lot of people argue some of the things there if you can actually have a very strong kind of kind of discipline directly you know so strong kind of stand on your works you might go in to be loose a little bit there right on your confidence later on so in order to develop that kind of confidence prepare yourself to make and to develop a different kind of challenges there okay to improve your skills simple as that okay because you have time, okay, your times, you basically, okay, uh, have more time to develop that kind of things, that you enjoy to develop that kind of skill. That's why my kind of purpose for this semester, right, I really, really want to improve more on the students' kind of drawing skills rather than develop basically a few number kind of styles that are not going to be beneficial for, for most of the, of the students unless they have that right kind of skills there. Okay, so I want you guys to develop from the foundations that first. Check, look back again right here. When I want to draw these eyes there, okay, without looking at the reference, without actually applying at the reference, okay, how actually I'm going to work on that. So I'm going to apply the highlights over here. Take a look back again. The highlights can be contrasted, the, the, the diagonal kind of side there, okay, they have to be, can be applied right here. So the highlights from this pupil and the iris there, okay. So check, look how actually I render them back. You can see my screen over here. Okay. I run in one direction there first. Okay. See. But not too much there, okay? Not too dark there, guys, okay? But of course, okay, if basically those light came from this side, right? This part should be a bit more darker than this side over here. That's how I actually try to get the tone right there, okay? Using pencil brushes there, guys, not ink brushes over here. For those who actually have problem to control ink brushes, apply uh, your kind of what we call the project tool, okay? If you want to develop more further, okay, using pencil brushes there first. Then if I want to render the iris there, okay? Some people want to draw all this kind of detailing, right? You can draw some of the detailing. See how actually I draw that, right? The directions of my hands when I draw the cursor there, right? Can you see? I render them back. Just control them and add some shadings there, rendering some shadings. 
using the circulations kind of shadings there. And these areas have the shadows there, okay? What I can do is I can actually change the size and render a little bit on this side there, right? This one is not from our, uh, what we call that project there, right? Okay, guys, but this is one of the exercise that you can do it on yourself. I want to make this kind of exercise, okay? Uh, one of my demonstrations later on, okay, for, for my videos. Okay, hopefully I can, the eyebrow, the eyelash, basically, I'm going to draw some suggestions line only. Okay, because in drawings, we can basically, right, improvise the thing that we saw. We, do not, we doesn't have to be uh, a bind uh, to, to develop the whole things. Okay, from what we see from those reference there. I actually improvise a lot from my, from those problems there, right? Okay. Can you see how I pick those kind of shadings to develop the eyes over here without lying right here, directly okay, on those tactics over here, directly? Okay? I didn't actually right, push a lot of efforts to copy the whole thing there. By right, I try to use them back improvise the shapes of the eyes there. This is something that I always do with my kind of illustrations once I imagine or develop basically those kind of shapes there, right? Back again to draw those people's eyes again. Even though I'm using some reference to draw the right here, but I try to improvise this kind of methods that works on that. You guys can try them back, okay? Draw those eyes there. The eyebrows itself there, right, okay? See the way that movement. A lot of people draw the, the line like this. One single line like this there. How actually I'm going to produce them? Back and forth there, okay? And control the pressures at the same time there. Back and forth there, right? Guys, this exercise is really important, especially those who cannot control your pressures well. See? The size of my brushes, fan points. Move my hands back again using this kind of directions there and control the pressures at the same time to draw those uh, eyebrows in the different positions there. Right? See? Control them back. Nose shape there. Okay? People draw their nose like this. Come on, guys. All right? Line works there, right? You can draw like this one if you want to. Sometimes when I draw it, okay, you turn the line. When you want to, we want to draw based on the reference line, right? Okay, based on the reference there. Right? But this is how actually I start with the right. Sometimes I start with this kind of line over here. Then I start with this one and add some shadings there, right? Try to render those shadings there. Control the pressures at the same time over so here. Okay. And using different size, render the shadows there. This is something that people always miss, okay? This is what happened to your friend over here. I don't know why actually he tried to paint the shadows like this. Okay. It doesn't look Hansen there, okay? Hansen there, okay? This yours there, right? Hansen. All right, try to improve more on your shadings there, Hansen. All right, check, look how actually I shades them up using the shadows line and, right, okay? Uh, lucky you have here, okay? I choose the right kind of, uh, what we call that, the right kind of person there, okay, to, to consult there, okay? To give basically uh, those suggestions then back, okay? Hansen, improve your shadings. Take a look over here. All right, if you cannot use soft brushes, Okay, on your kind of illustrations, use pencil brushes and adjust the flows if you want to. All right, to take a look back again to those reference there. All right, improve back again, Hans Center, okay? If you actually submit those kind of work like that, the best kind of marks I can give actually, right, around 8 per 20 there only there, right? Okay, 8 per 20 there, right? Please improve on your second projects, Jeffries. 
all right your second projects okay improve your shading line over here take a look carefully to your reference shadow line there okay and blend it up all together back again all right same goes to this part right okay, when you draw when people draw this one already okay, where to start with okay people doesn't understand right okay, they always start something like this come on guys are you tracing them you say why we're tracing there now you're doing the same tracing there right kind of techniques there right? how actually i'm going to work on this So normally when I when I want to draw the nose, other than we draw the basic structures there, see the circle shape, okay? okay one of the things that I don't want to emphasize, right? Okay, people try to imitate the same thing, but they don't understand that, right? Okay? Draw the nose physically, okay, on the on the imaginations kind of type, okay. The structures are going to be like this. One circle, big circles right here, two circles right here, okay. But it's too technical that make people sometimes confuse. So Sorry, there we go. Right. The best way, basically, right, okay, to understand back again, look back again to your reference and check, look how actually I start with, right, okay. I can start with this kind of line if I want to. See, from bottom to top, there, right. <coughs> Excuse me, there. Right? Now. To draw this part there, right? Here, sometimes I can start with this line there, right here. See? And I'm going to end up this line over here. Can you see? Okay, from here, start to shading them. Right? Not too much there, right? Okay? To draw those nose trail kind of shapes. Okay, from here, right? Okay, it's just the size back again. And you start to paint basically those shadows line there, right? Okay. Create some textures and shadows at the same time step too, to create this kind of form from this nose there. You see that? Okay, what happens to this side? Okay, people always tend to draw this part there, right? Okay? You see the shadows, right? Okay, form over here. We didn't have to draw the line of Mila. Come on, there, guys. Okay, how many times I told you guys? Okay, don't draw like this. But keep, people always assume that they understand, but they try to improvise from what I didn't actually write suggested there. So what I can do from here? Okay, I'm going to form the second shadow line of. If you can use soft brushes, it's more better there, right? Okay, Hansen, this one a bit more lighter there, right? Okay. You can obviously the shadows there. This side. When you close them back, you see the nose there, right? Shapes. Okay. Again, make a contrast there, okay? Because this basically is a is a is a front kind of uh, what we call the positions there. So make sure that okay. You can actually write emphasize on the nose from this positions there, right? Okay? To show basically the distance of those elements that you want to draw right here, directly. Right, okay? okay, understood that I'm saying that, right? Okay, improve more from there. The line work also has to be improved there, okay? The rest of you guys who have the same problem like Hansen, right? Okay, project two improve your drawings there if you submit the same drawing that means you don't learn from that simple as that okay any questions any questions there guys any kind of inquiries there can you see the, okay the studies that we made right now directly To develop basically our understanding back again, right? I didn't know, right? Okay, you guys, you can try also the same methods right here, right? To work on that, if you want to redraw them back again without uh, having 
a layers, right? Okay, on top of the layers, right? Okay, you can draw basically based on put the side by side, okay, to test basically your kind of understanding. It's a good thing also to try to draw like that. But this kind of techniques to help those who really cannot draw well. And you see how I actually draw the eyes there, right? You can see how the, the, the naturally become the eyes become more realistic, okay? Without copying all this kind of uh, the same kind of reference there, okay? That we have, but we can improvise the names. Okay? I can improvise from there, okay? I try to improvise the shapes according to the standard kind of elements that I always use there. It works on me. Okay, the hairline over here. How to study the hairline, okay? First of all, when I draw the hairline, okay, when I press the line and change the size because of the shadow texture that I saw from those hair strokes. You see there, right? It doesn't have to be one single line like this, okay? When you draw them, okay, the stroke there, okay? Draw the stroke back and forth like this one, okay? Back and forth there, okay? To develop your kind of what we call that kind of uh, understanding to control the pressures over here. This part basically I press a little bit more further because I can see the te the textures that form from the shadows, right? And use the flows of it, right? Which works on that. I did basically use white colors there. Okay, you can saw basically for my demonstration on the video setting on YouTube, how actually I use white colors that I get to apply on those visuals there, okay? So learn to see from there, okay? I'm using 15% of point size and press a bit more further on these areas, okay? If I want to add more detail there, I'm going to change the size over here, you see? I'm using eight point there, okay? To add a bit more kind of details there. This is how actually one of the way that you can develop your skill to draw those hairline right to get a very soft kind of strokes over here you see i combining with the contour line at the same time there right so focus basically on the techniques and all the detail and the perfections will came naturally there guys okay naturally there so if you stress too much on the perfections you won't get natural kind of results there, right? So the highlights, I will maintain them in white colors there or in white space, okay, in a negative space there, right? We're using negative space there, right? This is one of the practice, there, okay? One of the way that you can practice yourself. Even though we actually in the, in the projects kind of modes, it doesn't mean that you cannot practice based on the projects there, right? using as a part of your kind of advantage times to practice your kind of skills over here same goes to this part there, right okay. this part basically right draw the flows of it understand the flows there right first okay this one is a bit more darker there right so i can actually right control the pressures at the same times and try to cover some of the huge areas. But still, when I paint, I didn't paint like this, huh, guys. Huh? I paint by using the flows of the hair. And I add some shadows line there, right? If I want to add some detail, adjust the size, see? I can add some details over here. On the hairline there, right? Adjust the size there, right? If I want to make some highlight there, right, okay, using white colors there, right, see? Highlight there, right, see? That's what I say, right, okay? In every darkness, there always had light there, right, okay? So don't actually, right, paint the whole thing into uh, what we call that uh, a solid kind of core shadows there, that people cannot see the form of your illustration at the same time there, right? That's, that's the result there, right, okay? We cannot see because the, 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 the what we call that the, the the whole kind of spaces okay the canvas is just in the white colors there. If I'm going to change the white colors into more gray tones, right, maybe you guys can see more clearly later on. Okay, on those 
uh, on those tone for those high light directly that I use right here. Okay. So this one, basically, these techniques, basically, I adapted from charcoal drawings, traditionally directly. Traditionally, they are like using that. All right? We can use them also to add some highlights over here. See? All right? Mix them up all together there. Right? To, to make your visual become more pop up from your screen directly. Right? Your presentation at the same time. Right? See? Yeah. Okay. You use gray, gray kind of tone there, right? Okay? Kind of papers, for example, there or platform or surface. You can use white colors like a white conte charcoal directly, but using digital kind of media that it works. Some highlights a bit over here, maybe. Very nice kind of effects, there, guys. Okay, very nice kind of effects. Works on that. Okay, analyze other people's drawings. And you can learn a lot from there. I've also do the same thing there, guys. Most people basically that saw from the internet, right? Okay, all those kind of demonstrations, I never met them there. Right? But I've learned how actually they work on those kind of visual at the same times by looking how actually they made it up. Okay. Any questions there, guys? Any kind of inquiries to develop basically more on your skill from there? Okay, the submissions, five drawings. You can choose whatever method that you want to use according to what I actually have demonstrated. Okay? And then apply them back. You don't have to create your own characters, maintain whatever that we have, but improve more on your techniques. Project two, improve your techniques there. Draw humans, draw animals, because project three, we're going to combine all these two elements together and you're going to choose your own subject matters. Simple as that. But the challenging is, I didn't prepare any materials anymore. But I'm going to demonstrate to you guys there, right? But you're going to choose your own kind of subject matters there based on these two elements. Okay? All right? So, Bernice, are you ready, right, okay, to share your screen? It's over here. Bernice? <laughs> okay. All right? Okay, share your screen there, right? So, hopefully, you guys, you guys can actually, right, learn basically from there. I'm saying the rest of you guys, please improve your drawing skills. All right? From now on. Maintain basically your reference. Don't try to draw someone else, but improve your kind of line over here when you draw. All right, Bernice, share your screen. So I need to show my progress or? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yes. Same thing there, I can actually have thought to you there, okay? Try to control your your shadings and tone, the volumes, there, okay, of your shadows, there, okay? Can you zoom, zoom in a little bit there, right? Zoom in a little bit there. Zoom in more there, right? I want to see your line works. Guys, improve more on your line works. The shadings are going to be the secondary kind of elements or methods or techniques that you need to add some of the details later on there. Zoom, zoom in more closer. I cannot see that, right? Okay, look carefully when you draw those eyes, those lips, those ears there, right? Okay. Uh, has to be improved a bit more further from there. Take a look carefully how I actually draw those eyes, the ears there, right? Okay the leaves at the same time okay improve more on your line works there Bernice. the next drawings before you're going to add some shadings there okay. same thing there okay the whole thing look a bit more dark there okay 
So the source of light is a bit more little from there. This is look more like a, there is a backlight rather than the source of light from from the from the front of those characters there, right? They look like a backlight. Like there's a backlight. Okay, uh, they they more darker from here. Right? You have to change a bit more. Okay, adjust a bit more on the tone itself. There, right? You take a look at the reference at the same time. I did not basically paint the whole thing. It's okay too dark like this okay from the core shadows and the muscles kind of shadows also a bit kind of difference from here look a bit more weird there okay it look like an alien kind of what we call that uh, lakes there okay when you paint the shadows like that all right improve more on your line works there first okay can you zoom in a bit more i cannot see your line works there right uh, this is a little more like a tracing but it's like a rather those drawings okay so improve your drawing skills there. Right now, using the right kind of brushes first and sketch them using your reference there, okay? When you draw them right, okay, you don't draw, you don't look at your reference carefully. The proportion is not right and you trace the outline. This is what we call the trace the outline there, guys. Okay, people trace the outline and, the, and we can actually assume he's tracing, she's tracing there. It's not drawings there, right? Okay? It's not pure drawings there, right? So you need to improve later on for your second projects there, okay? Whatever that you've done right now, just submit them. We don't want to waste time there. So I want you to improve more on your drawing skills rather than those shadings there. Same goes to the rest of you guys. Because if you check, look back again, my kind of what we call that, I have shown you guys a lot from here, all right? I did basically show you guys there, right? Okay? Most of my presentations there, most of my presentation there, if I actually one of your friend who actually have to submit the same work there, right, okay? The same work right, that what you do there, right? Can you see what I did basically with my drawings over here? I developed a very strong kind of line works before I'm going to add some. shadings there okay where is it there okay okay the shadings that i did right now i combining lasso styles and also some soft kind of line there right okay soft kind of shadows there using the soft brushes my shadings basically it's nothing rather than what you do Benis, and the rest of you guys my shadings are nothing there, right? But what make my my kind of illustration look strong? Uh, this is the thing also the tips for Adina and the rest of you guys. What are the, what makes basically my drawing look strong? Uh, my kind of illustration look strong because of my drawings there. Why actually emphasize on the drawings there? This is the reason that this little guy there. Right? Can you see the comparison between my drawings over here with this one? It's totally different, but how actually I can control the pressures really well to develop my own kind of design in a short time. Compare back again what you do, basically, the rest of you guys, and what actually have been produced over here. What happens here? All right, what happens there? All right. I can't remember what I did basically right here. Oh, yes. I basically right uh, gave some examples. Okay. I think I, I gave some examples, okay, from uh, one of your friend. Okay. Uh, one of the groups there, right, basically. How basically I developed this. This kind of images become right there. See? Other person there, right? Right? When I design those characters there. Okay? But I did not basically want you guys to explore these kind of things because not all of you guys were ready enough to develop them. All right? Because of your drawing strokes looks weak there, right? Okay. 
because without develop your kind of the right kind of drawing strokes there guys the shading is nothing there guys okay i know basically some of you guys were fascinated with those paint kind of styles there right okay some of the concept illustration stuff and paint kind of style don't worry there guys next semesters if you were going to meet each other there right okay we're going to explore them those painting kind of styles there all right but I'm going to use basically almost the same kind of brushes tools. But the, the difference is we're using colors there to work. Because the techniques, the methods, the pressure point, uh, the, 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 what we call it, the flows are going to be the same. If you don't practice, your line works really well. What's the point? Basically, you're going to learn colors there, right? And shadings. Because if you're comparing what you do, basically, efforts of shading there, that you spend four hours there, Bernice, my shadings are not taking too long from there. Why? Because I didn't actually seek for any perfections there. I did not looking for any perfections there on my shadings. What I did, basically, I spent more time to develop, basically, my understanding to develop, basically, this is the shadows there right can you see the shadows there it's nothing that the shadows there right but i spend more times i'm using pencil brush over here right and mixed up with the ink brush there i spend more times studying basically the proportions of my subject matters right that's the thing that you should do hansing Bernice and the rest of you guys there, right? Okay, improve more on your understanding to draw your subject matter there first, according to your reference there. Don't try to be smart on that. If you're not smart enough to develop basically those skills, be patient. Let those kind of professions came naturally. Simple as that. If you're enjoying yourself here again, All right? I will check a little later. Okay, uh, actually, the shadows there. Okay, you anyone have coq after this? Okay, we had saw Hansen there, right? All right, Hansen, right? Okay, please, okay, improve there. Okay, I really, really need most of you guys. Okay, see what basically they how. Uh, soon way that they have done right okay. mutated Okay, this is what happens there, guys. Okay, I know basically you can develop your creativities there, but what's the point of those creativities if you don't understand the right kind of methods to develop your kind of skills? Okay, those are the things there. Of course, this kind of thing can be developed basically in any time that you want, but can you actually write? develop your understanding from these kind of drawings always ask yourself back again don't try to be fascinated that all these kind of people actually can draw characters there look back again their foundations techniques their kind of fundamentals there are there are their fundamentals strong enough from that okay the shadings have to be improved your line works also not for me at the moment, not that bad, but too sketchy. They're right, okay. You can add a bit of kind of detail from there, right? The shadings right now, the same thing. They're okay. Uh, Atelia, they're okay. Basically, there is no kind of uh, from those half tone shadows to core shadows. You you don't develop the volume there, okay, of tone from there. So watch carefully, okay, when you draw and paint the right back again. 
especially to this part directly. And of course, the line work is too soft. Like there doesn't have any consistency there from there. The hairline also, you can saw directly the hairline. Okay, the strokes of the hair is not that too soft directly. And most of it is too dark directly because you have tried to cover them. And of course, don't try to be smart to draw your own characters if you don't understand them. Just maintain that first, okay? What I did basically, I just tried to maintain and improvise a little bit only. But I still maintain the original kind of look and feel from there. Simple as that. Because our main objective is we want to improve our drawing skills, our illustration and drawing skill at the same time. All right? Same goes to this one. Okay? And most of those, uh, most of the paint styles, I think you either you rush to work on that. That's why you don't have time basically to uh, to develop it more further on your understanding to, to, to paint carefully directly. Don't try to draw your own characters like this anymore directly. But I would say that you can draw directly. The way that basically you develop the strokes, you have that kind of confidence. Okay, but patience directly. We need more patience on that. Okay. You group one or group group four directly. So check back again. Okay, your submissions over here. Okay, group one or group four directly. Okay, guys, take a look back again, okay? Your kind of drawings, comparing back again with mine, because it's really important when you try to compare the way that you have to develop the strokes, because, because I'm actually, right, i actually one of the lectures, basically, that I know, who actually show one step at a time how actually you're going to work on that, okay? So if you cannot actually write... Uh, try to develop that kind of understanding by look how actually I control the stroke at the same time to develop kind of detailing. What's the point basically? My illustrations. Okay. Watch carefully back again. Try to improve from there. If you saw some person who those those who have kind of kind of what we call that have those disability can draw using those mouth there right, okay? more better than you. You have your hands with you there right. Why can I, why actually you cannot improve more from there? It's no such thing as sleepless night, basically, right? Okay? But basically, you have to get used to it. But if you really enjoy yourself and take care a little bit more further on your times, you can have those kind of sleep, right? Okay? Of course, if you want to draw some things, make sure you actually take a rest a lot, right? Okay? Then when your mind is very clear, then you can actually improve more on your understanding there. And enjoy the process at the same time. All right, do it as a part of your, because you have two weeks there to complete the right. Do it as a part of your routine there. You want to make it because you want to see some improvement. That's it. If you make it as a part of your slave for your assignments, you're not going to be enjoy yourself. Okay? You're not going to be enjoy yourself there. So... Hopefully that you guys will learn something from here, okay? And we try to get to see whether you guys can improve a bit more further for the second projects there, okay? Because this second project is really important to make sure that you can actually manage basically your kind of skills for your third one, all right? Find the right methods there to improve your drawing skill from here, okay? So thank you very much. Have a good day, guys. All right? Anyone who want to ask me anything directly, you can actually just can pass me directly. Okay, thank you very much. Have a nice day, and good luck, and have a good day, directors, and take care of yourself. See you guys on the next sessions, guys. Bye bye.